I'm in. Good. Now try to enter the warehouse. I'll draw their attention away. In the tunnel. Tighter than a wetsuit in here. Oh, reeks too. You will have fresh air once you reach the warehouse area.
I saw something. On my way to investigate. Floats ours to do with as we please. You can fly it to Tokyo if you want. Haha, I just may do that. Good work. Now it is my turn. Can you see? Terrible chaos. Even the roof is slowly. Me, the roof. That is your will. There are buildings around, smaller ones. Use them to come down. Okay, what now? Now we retreat into the shadows and arm ourselves with patience. I will contact you before the parade. Until then, try not to get into any more trouble. As if I wasn't in enough already.
thumbs up.
issued the World Report on M54 News. The Western corporate states recently announced a new visa program. Persons in planning... Humanitarian efforts, nearly 60 people have been killed. Have we found heaven on Earth? Permanent human settlement on Antarctica is celebrating 10 years today. A wealth of natural resources hidden under the ice has spurred on the continent's rapid economic development. Though some environmental degradation has occurred as a result, inhabitants of the South Pole are still enjoying life as Antarctica's first dollhouse was recently opened. Perhaps most appealing to locals and newcomers alike is the astonishingly low crime level. Antarcticans enjoy a murder rate of only 70 per 100,000 residents. Thank you for watching M54 News. We'll see you next time. It's good you're here. Had no idea you and the Aldecaldos had made up. They continue to grind my gears something terrible. But, you know... They're family. Exactly. What happened? Spit it out! The Wraiths took Saul. The Brick Brain ventured out with a small patrol and never came back. Sure it was Wraiths. We've been observing their camp. We know they're holding prisoners including someone important. We need to free Saul. I don't know why, but I felt I could count on you. Always, Ben Am. You and me are chooms. Thought that was clear. Careful, or I'll start believing that. You won't be able to get rid of me. I'll survive, I'm sure. Whatever goodwill you might feel, I'm sure you won't turn down one of the best sniper rifles on the West Coast. A Tektronica Garad. You saw it in action already. That and the gratitude of the Caldos. Sounds fancy. Once you have it in hand, fancy all of a sudden becomes kick-ass. Let's go. Mitch will walk you through the details. Well, I'll be. Pan Am and V, what's going on there? Her? After what happened to Scorpion, she shows up here? Guess probably for Saul. Ignore that. Hey, Pan Am. Seriously? You really aim to do this? Someone has to. You know you have a piston missing, right? Someone has to. Where's Mitch? He was supposed to meet me here. He'll be here any minute. You never mentioned seeking outside help. We can use all the help we can get. 
Their problem? Just that if we're looking outside, we must be a hot mess inside. That's why we'll go in quiet. A frontal assault would be suicide. Mitch is already setting up recon. V will sneak into the Wraith's camp while I'll be her guardian rifle. Not going in quiet. Two's all you need. It's not that I don't want to go to serve some raffins up some justice. It's just... Look around! The last attacks left barely half of us standing. Our supplies are stuck outside goddamn Reno, and our gear... Don't get me started. We're up shit creek, static. And I don't know if we're ever gonna find or fashion a paddle. Try as we might. Leader gets nabbed and you what? Hope for the best? Rather not think about what you do for the ones at the bottom of your food chain. You're asking for trouble. Leave it! She has a right not to understand. There's Mitch. I floated a drone over the Wraith's camp. Will you take a look, or would you rather keep mouthing off? Mitch, how you been? Wishing duct tape could right all the world's wrongs. And hey, it shouldn't be me occupying your thoughts, but Saul. You taking a look or not? Let's see what we got here. The Raffins can't see it. Active camo, but that practically inhales battery juice, so make it quick. They found an abandoned cement plant to squat in, with a mass of heavy gear. Locusts would be a better name for them. They fly into a place, strip it of all it's got, then move on. But this time... Do you see the wall? They've added some primitive security measures. It points to them aiming to stay longer. The question is why. Who knows for sure, but I would guess that Saul is part of the reason. If he's still there, we have to find a way inside. That guard post is probably connected to the rest of the camp. Our way in? Maybe, but there are also breaches in the wall. Lightly guarded sections. Do you see the tracks? Tire tracks. Their vehicles were moving heavy freight. It could have been equipment. Either that or Saul's not their only prisoner. The tracks lead to the truck. Can you scan it? That's probably the one they kept Saul in. The main building, there. Saul must be inside. Quite a spread. Be like looking for a diamond in a hailstorm. If they haven't scrapped and gutted the place for parts, you could access the local camnet. You would just need to find the control room. Skywalk. It connects the garage to the main structure. Okay, got some stuff to work with now. Is everything clear? Yep. Let's go get Saul. Perfect. Mitch, is the van primed? I did what I could. Take a tour. Job. I mostly improvised, actually. Either way, it'll have to do. But how about... Hold on a minute, I got one more thing. If you find Saul hasn't flatlined, you'll probably need this. Spike Superjet, a rhino dose. It should speed up Saul's central pump. Hope so. Doubt I could carry him on my back. So that should be everything. V, will you ride with me? Yeah, of course I'm going with you. Okay, you take the wheel. Want me driving? Yep, I need to fiddle with my scope a bit. What a damn shame. Uh, what about Washington's ancient history? Okay, so what the hell else do you have? Whatever, asshole. You come back. Yeah, we 
even have a radio in here. Take it for a spin if you like. He let himself get captured. Anyone else? But Saul? Said yourself he's not at the top of his form. Yes, but moving civilians across the border during a bombardment? Hijacking a petrochem tanker? Mm. Opening the valves? Cranking a few figure eights to set the desert ablaze and give the kids a fun show? That's the Saul I remember. All had our idols. I know. It's just. One hell of a storm! Looking bad. Oh, it's bad in more than its look. We have to move quickly. Okay. We need to hide the car. Park beside that outcrop. Okay, out. I'll find a place to roost and keep you in sight. You just watch yourself down there. I'm in position. I have you in range. structure. That has to be where they're holding Saul. Hmm? Any progress? Is he singing yet? Riding in the basement a while longer or to loosen his pipes. Fucking hell, sure hope so. It's taken too long. Why do I even bother? time.
Got a girl here, dead, disemboweled. And not just for her chrome, I don't think. Fucking Raffins. Soulless filth. There's no line they won't cross. None. I got eyes on him. Is he breathing? I think so. Good. Grab him and get out of there. Saul. Do, do, do you have my goddamn cigar? Y your cigar? I told you, sons of bitches. A cigar, some ice cold hooch, and a couple of ladies to keep me company. Either that, or you can kiss my keister. Easy, Saul. I'm here with Pan Am. Pan Am? But... she left. Not forever. Gonna get you out. You. I remember. You're that merc. <laughs> can you walk? Fuck! Something is out of whack. You're pretty badly beat. Probably could use this. Uh, oh, yeah. So, how is he? Time to don my dancing shoes. Seems not bad at all. <laughs> Demanded a cigar and some companions. That does sound like Saul. Now get yourselves out of there. On our way out now. I'm firing up the engine. I'll be right there. You. Got by the posted guards. Uh-huh. And if we can be just as sly together, might get out without firing a shot. Exactly. There should be a quick exit out of the cellar. Storm is picking up steam. Good. 
It'll cover our tracks. Anyway, we have good reason not to head straight back to camp. There's no need to play it safe. We'll just burn time. Better late and safe than dead. just whip us off this road. We need to find shelter. The Ingalls farm? Good idea. You two know him? No one's lived there a while. Biotechnica saw to that. You see those buildings? We'll wait it out there. I remember this place. It should be safe, at least for now. Inside, quick! I need to catch my breath. Just in time for dinner. Not hungry. I just swallowed a pound of sand. Looks like we're in for the night. A little power might be useful. Could you help me look, V? I'll search in here. A lot of useful things. The Engels left in a hurry. Biotechnica made them a good offer. Yeah, right. Sell us your land. You don't know that. to get us some heat in here, but no luck. Can you check it? Might have the magic touch. Actually, you know what? Check the fuse outside. It might have come loose. If so, just whack it back in place and I'll get this junk burning. See what I see? Expiration date's from before the last war, so hopefully it hasn't turned to poison. Today's our lucky day. Lucky? Interesting choice of words. Do I hear a lecture coming on? No. No lecture. But we do need to talk. That raid's crap. It shouldn't have happened. They wanted everything. 
our camp locations, routes, off loading points. If they knew what state we're in, one or two more raids and that'd be the end of us. And if you had mounted a raid of your own, well... <sighs> Not the time for this. You're both exhausted. Maybe you're right. We can't hope to handle the Raffins alone. So you would sell us out to Biotechnica? Vade, tell him it's a damn rotten idea. Gotta agree with Pen M. Sounds like a truly shitty idea. Thanks. What could you possibly know about it? Know what I always liked about nomads? Your taste, no, hunger for freedom. Not easy to come by in Night City. Corpse got their grubby claws and everything. And I just can't believe you'd hand them what you hold to be most precious. Thank you, V. I could not have said it better. We've had our spats. A few. Like any family. They're not worth digging up. I think so, too. If you'd like to come back, everyone will be waiting. Arms open wide. But there will have to be changes. No more jumping to the front of the line. And so it begins. You know what, sweetheart? We'll have plenty of time to tear at each other's throats later. That is my hope. But right now, I wouldn't mind catching a few winks. Need help? Fuck off. Huh. Do you know what they call these storms in North Africa? Ha boobs. Damn, I love that word. Whoa, what was that about? Two haboobs. Yeah. Two haboobs. Now that packs an octane. And? Think this is any better? No. Just different. Yeah, this would make for a decent little motel, wouldn't it? Little fireplace, booze. Grumpy guy at reception is the one thing missing. Have everything you need, ma'am? Mm-hmm. I couldn't ask for more. How's your whiskey, ma'am? Hmm. Warm. Subtle metallic aftertaste. Bold, yet smooth. Four out of five stars. <sighs> Think I'm ready to turn in. Yeah, it's been a long day. We deserve a good, long sleep. And V, I am glad you came. It meant a lot to me. Do you hear that? Uh, nope. Mm. Mm -hmm. The wind has waned. I can't speak for her boobs, but when a Chinook rolls rough and rowdy across the plate, I sure can't get any, should I? Not a wink. On behalf of the staff of the Independent California Motel, I wish you all sweet dreams. Sleep all right? Good work, V. Old style raid. Saul doing all right? Cracked skull, six busted ribs, bruised kidneys, but he's back at it, bossing folk every which way. You? 
You gotta agree now. Next time I choose the motel. <laughs> if there is such a time. Well, I slept like a puppy. That's a cozy shoulder you have there. <sighs> it's too bad I better get rolling in a minute. Hang on. Thought you were headed back to the Aldecaldos. Staying with the clan. That remains so. Come on. Last night, when we were talking to Saul, thanks for standing up for me. Though, one thing, the wraiths, the raid, it's the start of something we need to prepare for. Saul will get everything set up in camp. Whereas I... Whereas you... The Raffins wanted to know our roots, right? Well, it's the Aldecaldo's turn. Some recon is in order. One more thing. Your compensation. Please take care of her. She served me well. Putting her in good hands, Pan Am. I know. So, uh, thank you. Once again. Glad I could help. Glad I did. Take care of yourself. You too, Pan Am. And remember, I'm indebted. Okay, back to town, V. Headed up to here with this gusty outback. How you feeling? Free. No better feeling in the world. You all bury the hatchet with Pan Am? <laughs> I'd say it was more like a battle axe. These things, they're tough to bury, and even tougher to keep buried. But I'm optimistic. Her heart seems like it's in the right place. Better start heading out. Yeah, same goes for us. Only once the radiator gets a breather. Thanks, V. What you did for me, I'll never forget it. Start. 
I will wait where we met before. By the stalls. Just stay out of trouble, okay? V, come here. A little closer now. Hey, Mitch. You doing okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing all right, but, uh, meh. So many dead. So many of them good friends, too. Do you know what it's like to lose your best friend? Mm-hmm. Name was Jackie. Uh-huh. How'd he go? Like everyone goes in Night City. Anyway, come on. Help me out with something. What? Some loose ends. Final goodbye. I don't much want to do it alone. Okay. I'll help. Come on, then. You're okay behind the wheel, right? Yeah. And? We're going for a drive. Uh-huh. And where? I can tell you're a city girl. You want to know everything. Now, yesterday. A little patience, V. Here in the Aldecaldos, it all stays in the family. Used to be scorpions, that rig. Now she belongs to me. And my old girl's right next to it. Nice wheels. Both of them. Damn right. Out here, those wheels are our life. I'll take scorpions, you hop in the other. All right, let's go. Let's hit the road. Follow me. Mitch, you hear me? Yep. More driving, less talking. Ah, sun on my face, wind in my hair. Perfect. No, oh, hey, haven't seen you in a while. Not a fan of funerals. Mm hmm. You and death don't really mix. Say that like it's my fault. Never asked Saburo to put me on that fucking chip, or for you to slot it in your head. Oh, I hope this place isn't too far. Speaking of, where are we going? Not a clue. My, what a good little girl scout. So trusting, so accommodating. It's for Scorpion. His last wish or something. That good enough for you? Great. Never a dull moment.
Holy shit! Mitch, what the hell? Relax, V. It's what Scorpion wanted. He wanted you to stuff him in the trunk like a spare tire? No, he wanted me to take him here. And send him off with a bang. We set him up behind the wheel, douse the car, then light it, let him fly off the edge. I mean... If that's what Scorpion wanted... He did. Said it a million times if he said it at all. Grab me that can, will you? Here we go. Great. Go ahead. Put it in the passenger seat. See the driver's already behind the wheel. No point wasting time. Another hour or two and he'll puff up like a balloon. Right. Shall we get this show on the road? Let's do it. Hell yeah. I already got a rag in the can. You light it. I'll start the car. She's burning! Quick, before she blows! May the road be kind to you, friend. Out with a bang. Just like he wanted. Soot and ash. That much remains. So, how about a beer? Sure. I'll drink to a send-off like that. Well, come on. Ah, nothing like a good cold one. Agreed. Hey, speaking of, where'd that nickname come from? Scorpion. Funny. You know, I haven't the slightest idea. Never asked him. He a Scorpio or something? <laughs> Maybe he had a big stinger. <laughs> ah, Scorpion, you old bastard. I'm gonna miss you, man. Mitch. Why me? Why did you ask me to help? Ah, oh, you seem like a good egg. I'm serious. I don't know, I, uh... I guess the fact that I'm still here to send him off right. That's thanks to you. Your paths crossed. Just for a moment. But damn, was it the right one? Listen, there's a, a few things of his you ought to have. Like this little good luck charm. Go on, it, it's yours. What is it? Not a clue. Scorpion always had it on him, no idea why. Listen, I'm gonna sit here for a while, all right? Brood in peace. Understood. I'll be off then. Sure. Listen, if you want, you can take my car back to camp. Whatever works for you. Oh, and, uh, thanks, V, for today. And for getting me out of that shit back then, too. You're all right. You're really all right. 